Hey guys, how's everyone doing? So this is another garage video. It's raining here today, um, so I didn't bother to get in. But I just wanted to come on and talk about my uh, stuff that I got for lighting fires now. I'm stocked up now pretty much for the fall and for the winter. So I'm going to start off with this uh, leather tinder pouch that uh, Kurt North of 51 made. He sent it to Wallace and Wallace sent it to me. So everything you see is here on top of the cooler is this. Um, runs out of stuff. I'll take it from that and fill it up. This is my go-to now for sure And this is a container I just had with stuff in it before that so I'll use this first and then I'll refill it from there So today I want to talk about uh, fatwood So this is a box I had since last year. I'm almost out now There's not a whole lot in it. So uh, I used to be able to get it at Canadian Tire and uh, Now you can't get it at Canadian Tire no more so, uh, you can get it at a local store, um, in my area that got it, so I decided to, uh, stock up on it, because, um, I used to be able to get a Canadian tar, but I think they stopped selling it, and it's something I always use, so I went up today and picked up three boxes, so I'm, uh, three full boxes, I'm stocked up now, so this should do me now for a while, like I said, it's nice just to have a couple, uh, sticks on you. So that's one box. There's one in particular box that I want to show you guys. It's uh, is that dark? It's almost red. It's really like resinous, I guess, whatever you want to call it. It's right dark. I think that's the box there. And uh, some pieces are right dark. So obviously, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the darker it is, the more that's into it, right? And like I said, uh, I've been using this stuff now for a couple of years. And um, when I found out Canadian Tar stopped selling it, I said, well, the store I got it from had uh, six boxes in it, and I just went up and bought three, so I said, that's uh, that's not too bad now. Actually, yeah, this here's the box I was talking about. So you can see here, that's uh, that's pretty dark. That's going to be awesome. I mean, a piece like that even would last you a while, right? I know some people just scrapes it off and uses a ferro rod. That's most of what I does. I might sit like that with fire steel, or um, I'll just take a knife and split it down. So, yeah, I got three boxes of that today. And besides the box that I already had with a little bit into the couple of sticks, like I said, they're from last year. Um, it's good gear to have. I mean, sometimes you might be in a situation where you don't have time to try to get anything dry. Or I know I was in a situation one time where it was raining for a full week. And now I can break the material down and get a fire going even if it rained for a week or two weeks. It don't matter. I know how to do that. I've did it before. It takes a bit more time. But sometimes you could be in a situation where you're on skidoo or something and you might get wet and... You know, you might want to do that. So fatwood's a good thing to have. And this is something else I picked up over this uh, summer. Or I think it was maybe last winter. I can't remember. At the end of the winter. That's a bag of them. They're like 10 bucks. But that's not what this video is about. This video is more or less about fatwood. And uh, from there, tumbleweeds. That's, if I'm not using fatwood, that's what I'm using. That's my go-to. 16. And I think it's like $7.99. But they're awesome. You light one of them up, and there's some kind of wax or something on them. They're awesome. So yeah, guys, uh, it'd be pretty cool if you guys leave in the comments what you guys likes to take. For me, it's definitely fat wood. And like I said, I got three boxes now, so I'm pretty, pretty good now for the fall and the winter, anyways. And um, this is my go-to matches. I know I showed this in a video before, but I'll just show it again now while I got them here. These are waterproof matches, stormproof, and uh, they're awesome. You can get them at outdoor stores. You can get them on Amazon. I got these um, where I live at a store and they were almost 20 bucks, but I don't even care because they're worth it. You can also buy more to refill and keep this. And um, you get a couple more strikers here. In with it. And uh, the matches are awesome. I don't always use the matches though. They're more or less for, you know, if I need to get out of a jam. I use this mostly my uh, ferro rod. But yeah, they're awesome. So uh, I would highly recommend them. But yeah, guys. Uh, drop in the comments what you guys would use. Like I said, that's my leather tinder pouch. That's with me now at all times. But uh, that wood, something I've been using now for a couple of years, and uh, it's great to have. Just throw a couple of sticks in your book bag or in your lunchbox, and like I said, you're good to go. So I got three boxes now. That's definitely going to do me for a while. So if you guys uh, like this video, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Have a great day.